Hi guys, Peter Finch here, teacher professional down at Trafford Golf Centre in Manchester. I'm doing a video yet again in response to your guys' questions about how you should make up the top end of your bag. So your kind of driver, three wood, five wood, hybrid selection. What you should be looking for at the top end of your bag. Now, the question kind of was, was posted by one of my subscribers was what should I go for, either a three wood or a five wood? But what you actually want to do is rather than look at it in the kind of the old fashioned terms of say a driver, a three wood, a five wood, don't think of it in those terms, just think of it purely in loft terms. Because what you want to be doing, you want to be getting an even spread of lofts throughout the top end of your bag. Now, what I mean by that is with my kind of current driver at the moment, I'm using the G30 driver, um, which I've got set here at nine degrees. Now, this is kind of the best combination that I found with this X-Stiff shaft. And I find it launches the ball very, very well with kind of low spin rates and it's quite a forgiving club as well. So I found that a nine degree driver in the G30 is best for me. If you're using one of the SLDR drivers, which the center of gravity has been kind of pushed forward a little bit more and you need a higher loft, that needs to be taken into, the, into account. But for my G30, I've got a nine degree driver. And what I tend to find with that is my launch is pretty good. Not that many high of a spin rate. And I can get the ball away very, very nicely. And I know that if I catch my driver pretty well, kind of average distance for me, kind of at the moment on a kind of normal day without any wind or any kind of extenuating factors, it normally gets to about 280 or so on, a, on an half decent driver. I can push it a little bit more if I want to, but it's about 280 yards. So that's at the top end of my bag with my driver at nine degrees. So now I've got an option, you know, where is my next degree? Where, what should my next kind of club be? Now what I'm doing is I'm actually experimenting myself at the moment with a few clubs because I've got here kind of a different kind of selection. My three wood at the moment is a very strong loft which is about 14 degrees. Now I'm trying out this um, G30 three wood as well which is 14.5 degrees. Now 14.59, so we've got a 9 degree driver and then we go up to 14.5, so it's a 5.5 degree difference in my lofts. Now that will give me a contrast of probably about 30 yards or so. So I could either push this a little bit harder if I wanted to get that kind of distance closer, or I could drop down my driver as well. All it is, it's just making sure that the distances you hit between them are evenly spaced and they're not massive chasms. Because if I was to go from my driver down to say a five wood, the difference in distance between the two would just be too great. There'd be quite a big gap there for when I get onto the course from that kind of area between my driver and my, th my five wood. You know, what would I hit? I'd have to severely force my five wood or really, really cut down on a driver. So I'm probably going to be looking at in my bag a three wood of about 14.5 degrees. And obviously, you know, you need it to be forgiving as well. You don't want something which is hard to hit or that can only be used off a tee. So I put an RBZ um, three wood in my bag for a while and I found it okay off the tee but off the fairway really really struggled but the shaft was quite long and the degrees it was a very strong kind of face club as well. So my gapping now is a nine degree driver down to a 14.5 degree three wood. Now from then on, you know, where do you go? If I go from a driver to a three wood, what's in next in my bag? If it was a standard old fashioned set, it'd be going to a three iron. But again, that leaves quite a big gap between my three wood and my three iron. Now what I've actually done, I filled that with a one iron, uh, which is not, uh, not the easiest club to hit for most people, but the one iron I have, it's a, it's a Mizuno MP33 bladed one. And for whatever reason, it just suits me and I hit it really, really well. But if you're not sure about that, you can either pop a five wood in, or most importantly, and probably the best option for most golfers of an average handicap, and even the better players, you know, Bubba Watson uses one as well, is just to get a hybrid club in the bag. Now hybrids, again, I mean, I've got, I've got another G30 hybrid here. I'm not promoting the G30 over there any other club. Please don't get me wrong. This is just the stuff we've been sent through recently to test myself and kind of Rick Shields. So I've got this hybrid club here. Now this is 22 degrees, which is down to replace kind of my three or four iron. So this would be quite a big jump again between my three wood my four iron so i need something in the middle about 20 degrees or so and that will take the place of my three iron and also bridge the gap nicely between my three wood and my well my four iron if i was to play a normal set but obviously i've got the one iron rather than the hybrid 
The best advantage of the hybrid is it's a combination of a kind of an iron and a wood, hence the, the hybrid name. And it does give the best of both worlds. You'll find with a hybrid that the actual height that you get and the forgiveness you get is so much greater than an iron, just simply because of the wide sole plate and also the perimeter weighting, which has been pushed around to the actual back of the club. I did hit that very well, actually. Oh, hit a draw with it as well. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe the one iron's going out the back. Get the hybrid back in. But yeah, the whole kind of point in this video is just to kind of say to you that there's no particular kind of right order at the kind of top end of your bag. I mean, obviously you want a driver that you can trust, but you know, that could be anywhere from eight degrees if you've not kind of got up to the, the lofting up SLDR stuff, all, all, the way down, all the way up to say a 13, 14 degree driver. I mean, Taylor May brought out this mini driver, which is 14 degrees, and it's kind of a half driver, half three wood. But this is an absolutely fantastic club. If you've not actually had a chance to hit one of these mini drivers yet, it's well worth it. They've actually been, we were kind of speaking to Taylor May the other day, and it's been a bit of an unprecedented success for them, really. They've not actually been able to get through quite enough of them. They've had to produce more and more and more, just simply because it's a higher lofted club, and it's quite forgiving as well. So again, this is an option. This could replace both a driver and a three wood in your bag. So don't get stuck into the old kind of thinking of I need a driver, a three wood, a five wood, and then I get onto the irons. Think of it in terms of loft. And if you want a full rundown of the lofts on your clubs, go to your manufacturer's website. They will tend to have a list under the actual club specification section on the website where it actually lists the lofts of your club. And you can get into it like that. You can get into it so much that you can go, well, you know, my four iron isn't a four iron. That is my 22 degree club. And then so on and so forth, all the way down to your lob wedge, which would be 60 degrees. You can really get into it that much if you want to. So guys, I hope you found that information uh, useful. Please comment in the box below. Let me know what you think. You know, what is your club makeup? I try to answer all the comments that I get. It might take me a bit of time to get kind of back to you because there is so many to get through. But please let me know what you think. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All the videos here are free and it's all to kind of help you improve your game. Please follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well. As many avid news as I have to connect with you guys, the better it is. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you down here next time.